Hi. I thought I'd do on one of those uh, what's in my bag type uh, videos. Not so much what's in my bag as, as why it's in my bag. I think it would probably be more appropriate. As you've seen before, I don't you let me visit my blog. This is my bag. Well, it's one of my bags. It's my smallest, it's my lightest, and it's my most compact, my little man Frodo uh, camera bag. Okay, well, it's next to nothing, it's very small, very compact. Okay, so what have I got in the bag? I think you, again, if you uh, visit my blog, uh, you'll know that I have this, uh, I suppose you could call it an obsession with, uh, uh, with size and weight with the camera gear. And so, believe it or not, in that bag I currently have six lenses uh, and uh, a little macro converter lens. So you could say seven lenses plus the camera body and some accessories. So let's find out what, what's in there. Right, let's have a look. All right. So first off is the camera itself, um, packed in there. Uh, try and move that up so you can get an idea. And I'll unpack the bag. So, first off, the camera. At the moment, it's my little uh, Olympus Pen F camera, uh, fitted with a Lumix 12 to 32 millimeter zoom lens. It's a very small pancake type design, very sharp. As you can see, it extends and retracts back into there. Um, it covers 12 to 32 millimeter, which is a good. Uh, walkabout lens and it works very well with this uh, Pelle body that I've got it on. Uh, so that's the camera and A lens. I'll stick that down there. And uh, now, as I said, there were a total of six, well, six and a half maybe lenses in here. Um, how do you classify half a lens? Well, <laughs> I'm glassing the macro converter as half a lens. Next lens I've got in here is this one, which is my uh, wide angle for super wide angle Olympus zoom. So very small and light again. Uh, it covers 9mm to 18mm. <coughs> so and uh, that's quite useful to have that with me. Uh, in fact all my lenses with one exception uh, which I'll come to are really geared around naturally to suit my style and my interest in photography which are landscapes, uh, cityscapes, travel uh, and that sort of thing. Walk about Bit of street photography now and again. Uh, so in all my focal lengths ranges, I very rarely use telephotos. I've got telephotos, but I, I honestly don't get put them to a lot of use. But I made one concession to that, which I'll come to in a little while. Okay, so the next lens up is this one, which I'm going to unfurl from the um, uh, neoprene uh, covers, and that is this one. That is my uh, 25 millimeter Olympus. Uh, prime lens 1.8, uh, which is a very nice lens to carry around uh, for my sort of photography. <coughs> Small and light again, uh, and nice to have a, a, a prime uh, lens with me. Um, in fact, I've got two, I'll come to the other one in there. Whilst I'm unpacking the top layer of this bag, uh, out of this little velvet pouch or drawstring pouch, it's this. This is my uh, Olympus MCON P02, uh, which is a little um, macro converter or close-up lens. That works particularly well, actually, for what it is. Um, it's got a 46 mil thread with a 37 mil uh, step-down adapter or step-up ring, I should say, and that will fit on any of these lenses, um, with one exception: uh, the uh, ultra-wide angle zoom bar. We wouldn't want to use it on there, so that's that one. And that's the top layer on the side of the bag uh, unpacked. Next off at the bottom here, I have this lens, which is, again you can see is very small, very compact, very light. Uh, it's got its lens hood reversed on it at the moment. That is my Lumix uh, 12, uh, sorry, pick up on, uh, 35 to 100. Lumix 35 to 100 telephoto zoom, um, which occasionally I, can, I, I will use. Um, so that's my concession to having a telephoto lens with me. Uh, believe it or not, in this little bag here, this little Lumix pouch which came with one of my lenses, are two more lenses. 
<laughs> and, uh, okay, there's this one, first of all, uh, I pack them back to back. There's this one, which is my 14mm 2.5 uh, Lumix uh, one angle. So I've got another uh, pretty fast, relatively fast prime to go with my 25mm. And I'm not sure if that's still in frame, I assume it is. Um, and then lastly, one more lens. Uh, yeah, here we're thinking, another lens in there. <laughs> That's this one, and of course it's my little um, nine millimeter body cap fisheye lens, lipless lens. Um, I don't really use fisheyes that much. I could conceivably have put in there my uh, a Samyang 7.5, which is bigger, of course, it's heavier, um, it's, it's sharper, it's a nicer lens all round, but for the odd occasion when I really want a fisheye, uh, do I want to carry around all the time? Um, I don't. So. Uh, that ticks that, that box for me, this little, um, little Olympus. It's surprisingly good for what it is, actually. Oh, and uh, whilst on the subject of the Olympus, I put, or uh, this lens, I put a little, you know, you can see white, um, I suppose you'd call a sticky pad or sticky foot on the back there, because I'm going to back to back that in that case, uh, as you saw with the, uh, with the Lumix. So, stop anything knocking against anything else. So that's pretty much, that's it for the hardware. As I said, six lenses, one uh, little close-up lens. Um, now all of these lenses, I'm talking micro four thirds terms when I'm talking about their focal length. Um, with a two times factor, you've got to allow uh, to translate those into full frame terms. Um, so, my telephoto is a 7200. Uh, the ultra wide angle uh, becomes a, a 20, uh, sorry, an 18 uh, to 36. The, um, that becomes a 28 millimeter um, wide angle lens. That becomes a 50 mil standard lens, and a little blue mix on there um, becomes um, a 24 to 64. So between that lot, I've got more or less continuous coverage uh, with, with a couple of primes thrown in as well for speed, from right the way through. Uh, if you exclude the the, the wide angle uh, fisheye lens, but um, you've got right away from 24, uh, again in 35mm terrain terms, uh, you've got right from 24 right through to 200. All of that uh, in one small bag. Um, the whole weight uh, of the kit, uh, including the bag and a few accessories which I'll just briefly mention in a moment, comes to one kilogram. Just over, slightly over one kilogram, so you might as well say a two pound bag of sugar uh, for comparison purposes. Right, so the bag itself, and the Velcro thing on the side here has got a little compartment. I carry a few of these size lens whites, which are quite nice. Uh, and a little four uh, SD card case, very small, like there. And a couple of spare batteries for my Olympus camera, whatever camera I've got. So, so all of that, one kilogram, small bag, full coverage. Um, very small, very light. So I'll pack it all back in there again now. And uh, right, so first off, I think we'll do these two. I will do the little fish eye, and we'll put that with this uh, black cap upwards as it is now. And that one on top of it. A little Lumix store string bag. I'm going to stick that down in the uh, in the bottom uh, of the uh, right hand side as I look at it. Of the bag, so that's gone in there. Next to that, I will reverse the hood back again. There's this one. I've done it in such a way that no, there's not two lenses against each other. They've all got some form of uh, protection, apart from the fact they're not really going anywhere in that small bag. Um, so, what I'll do now is I'll do this one, put that standard lens back in there. Uh, another thing I um, really wanted to do, I try and do, uh, when I'm trying to design these bag lights and refine things, is do it in such a way that the camera will go back into the um, bag with what, straight off, with whatever lens is fitted to it at the time. So no need for me to, to muck around uh, changing changing lenses. And the longest lens here with its lens hood on uh, will be no surprise, and that's the um, 
telephoto lens, a telephoto zoom balloon mix. Um, and with, with that attached to the pen F body, um, as might be the case, that I go straight back in. Because um, I really don't want to have to keep changing lenses just for the sake of taking them in and out of the bag. Yeah, changing them on the cup, that's why they're there, but not, not, uh, not just purely so I can start using, uh, stop using a lens and pack stuff in and all out of the bag. So that's all that bit. Put the camera back in there as well. well I'll try not to drop it in. I think we'll, we'll put it in. And um, I'll go back in there. And with this lens attached, I've got uh, I've got space to just to tuck the strap in there. Glass it these back in the zip side pocket. And one and the two camera batteries. Extra extra camera batteries. Just pop into there. It's got a little Velcro fastener. Tuck that in. Zip it up. And that's it. So I said, six lenses, proper lenses, one small macro converter, one camera body, spare batteries, etc., etc. One kilogram, one small bag, good to go. Anyway. I know I'm not Spielberg, uh, I'm not into videography, <laughs> but I thought it would maybe be the easiest way to, uh, to try and uh, demonstrate this. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, thanks for continuing to watch my blog and I look forward to hearing from you later on. So bye for now.